Hey, good afternoon and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Lisa Monison. It's nice to meet you. And if you are a returning subscriber, thanks for tuning back in. Today's video is a topic on what would you do if you won $50,000. Now, stay tuned for all those details. Okay, so before we get started, uh, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe at, there at the top for more videos. But today's video, again, is what would you do if you won $50,000? Now, some of you may know that the company that I'm currently with, which is LipGood, is doing a special incentive right now uh, for all people that are in the company to celebrate their one-year anniversary and trying to reach one million happy members and affiliates. So we are at over 900,000 affiliates right now and to celebrate the birthday and to try to meet that 1 million member mark, the CEO is offering two different prize incentives. One is a $10,000 drawing and one is a $50,000 drawing. And all you have to do is be a part of, have a membership, be an affiliate and uh, sponsor someone, you know, let somebody know about this amazing opportunity, let them save money on amazing quality products. And uh, by doing so, for every person that you get, you get entries into this drawing. So it is a cash giveaway. Um, if you are interested in checking out the business and you haven't yet with me, it's a free tour right here, bosslifesignup.com. But let's get into what I would do if I won $50,000. Now, I'm gonna be really real with you guys. If this was me several years back, um, I would definitely have different ways of sharing this money. Um, I'm a giver at heart. So in the last five years though, my family has kind of been turned upside down in several different ways. Uh, it won't get too personal. We'll just say that our responsibilities um, in our life um, have changed a lot in my household uh, with expenses and um, different things that we didn't expect to come into our life, which, you know, I am so grateful for network marketing because it has helped over the years with groceries and all the extras. But my husband also had lost his job in 2020. Um, and then he's been a contractor for the past two years. And we're very thankful for that. But that is coming to a close. And they have in the last, uh, right, right before Thanksgiving, we were told he was going to be furloughed. Um, and so that furlough has been broken up. But you know, when your paycheck check hit, you know, takes a hit and you're both, you know, I'm working my thing with network marketing and thank God bringing in something with those businesses and uh, I flip furniture. But when the main breadwinner, which is my husband, uh, gets something like that happening and you've had all these responsibilities of things happening in your life, um, you know, you know that you would utilize that money uh, to survive, <laughs> basically. So uh, if we won that kind of money, it would be a complete blessing from God right now because we have been in a pinch. It has been a struggle and I know there's so many people struggling with, with different things, but it definitely would be a godsend for us. And like I said, if I was in a different position where we were so many years ago before all this happened, then I would probably give some to my church. And I mean that honestly, because I, I, I'm very spiritual and I'm a Catholic and I truly believe that if God blessed us with more than we needed, um, you know, just to survive that, I, you know, I would give to those that need. And um, if my husband, for example, were to get a job that we've been looking after and I'm like, that is so much more than we need, we would be tithing a certain amount back to the church. So um, I'm not trying to give a sob story uh, and I don't want to get emotional, um, but Life's been difficult, we'll just say, and and I think it, we're not the only people um, that have had struggles. Um, I think everybody in their life can have different points of their life that they have had um, different struggles, whether that is with your health, whether that is with financial, whether that's with family, whatever it happens to be. Um, but yeah, if I won $50,000, it definitely wouldn't be right now to go out and get a new car or to go do this or go do that and go and take a trip or whatever. I think we would just be um, thankful for it, um, for survival. <laughs> so I'm still working my business. I'm so thankful for it. And I'm so thankful for the other streams that I have and what we have. We just, right now we're praying for my husband to find valid work. Um, you know, but he's hiring at the end of December. So it's kind of like, um, 
you know, putting the resume out and just praying for the right thing to come along. But um, whoever wins, I know it's going to bless whoever whoever wins these contests and they will use it for good or use it for something that they desperately need. And yeah, if we won that, I would just see it as a gift from God right now. So um, at any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. I know it was a little more on the personal level, um, but as you know, on this channel, we have network marketing tips and training. We have uh, my health journey, uh, health reviews on our products. We also have furniture flipping and some of you might be here for other training videos as well. So be sure to check those playlists here on the channel because it's more than just these topics that we've been doing in these eight days. And um, I, hope, I hope to be of service to you, whether it is you joining me in this amazing uh, business that I'm in with LiveGood. Again, link here, link down below. You can just be a member, enjoy the fabulous savings of these amazing pure clean products, or you can also hustle in the business and earn money and save money, which is what I am doing as well. So um, I hope to see you soon and thank you for watching and have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.